Good morning, Gators. I'm Mary Catherine. And I'm Cammie. And this is Friday, December 6th. And, and you're, you're watching, watching KGTR. KGTR. season is over, we can focus on some other sports here at the Swamp. Let's go to Stephanie to tell us about soccer and basketball. Our winter sports teams have started their seasons off strong. The boys basketball team has been hard at work since August preparing to defend their district champion title for the third consecutive year. Our girls basketball team has also been preparing for another winning season. We've been preparing like for like we practice, we scrimmage, we go to the weight room and we practice hard and intense. But other than that, just working together as a team and playing together. The boys soccer team has a new coach this season and won their games against Houghton, North DeSoto, Evangel, West Monroe, and Bird. Uh, he seems like a pretty good coach. He has a good history and he's been with some pretty good teams pretty far in the playoffs, so he's had some good discipline, and we've been having better practices than usual, so I'm pretty confident that we'll do good in the season. Our Lady Gators soccer team has been preparing for a great season and won their game against Houghton 6-0. And be sure to come support the boys soccer team tonight at Tinsley Park at 6 o'clock as they continue their Bossier tournament. What's that, Mary Catherine? How poorly students treat our bathrooms. You're so right. Let's go to Reagan to tell us more information. Do any of you like resting in our restrooms? The last place you'll see me resting up is in our ladies' room. Who wants to use a restroom with paper towels on the floor and in the sink? Instead of throwing your paper towels in the sink or around the trash can, Throw your paper towel in the trash can. We all use the restroom. Just as we treat our home with respect, we should treat our school with respect, starting with the restroom. You know what I've noticed lately? Have, are they changing the rules to get a driver's license yet again? They are. Alex can tell us more. In September, the state of Louisiana passed new laws regarding keeping and getting a license or permit. Now, minors have to have proof of school attendance in order to get their permit or license. Sure, students can get this from Mr. Silby. Also, dropouts or any student that is habitually absent or tardy can be denied a permit or license, while current holders of licenses and permits can have theirs suspended due to absences. I don't really understand a lot about the new requirement, but it seems like it's just adding another obstacle to young people who have dropped out of school. It can be really hard to obtain employment without a license, and I don't see any sense in making it even harder for people who have dropped out to um, be productive members of the community and in the workforce. If I gotta go to work, if I have a job to support my family and I can't go to school, I can't drive because they take my license because I don't go to school. I agree with them taking away our, our permits. We're not school because we need education to drive. And remember, Gators, habitually absent in Cattle Parish is defined as more than three absences per semester. So if you want to get or keep your permit or license, make sure you come to school every day. Thanks, Alex. Hey, have you met any of the foreign exchange students this year? Yeah, I wonder what it's like to go to school in a different country. So do I. I bet Shaglinda could tell us more about this. Many students panic when they have to start attending a new school. But imagine what it would feel like to attend a new school in a totally different country knowing absolutely no one. Scary, right? But some students are actually brave enough to do it. The number of foreign exchange students that Shreve gets per year varies. Last year we had three, and this year we only have one. Her name is Chio. She's from Madrid, Spain. She says that the United States is much bigger than Spain, the people are nicer here, and that there are a lot more fast food restaurants here. She speaks English, Spanish, and French. She is currently learning German, and next year she will learn Japanese. Oh, the schools in Spain, we 
shaky but it's not yet. Stephanie, maybe in the morning from 5 to the afternoon. We have two hours lunch. We have to wear uniforms and we have three hours of homework every night without starting the test. And the teachers are the ones who change the classroom, not us. We have um, the 30 people we share the classroom with, other 30 and 3 years old and we're 18. And the class, the schools are so much smaller and they're mostly Catholic schools. So, what does a foreign exchange student have to do? Well, applying to be a foreign exchange student is almost like applying to college. Long, in-depth, and in some cases, even stressful. Foreign exchange students have to provide a written application, immunization records that are updated, and they also have to go through an interview. Then, they are approved by an international company. After all of that, they are placed with an American family who pursues the school that they want their students to attend. So, you might be wondering, what is the catch here, or what are the incentives? Miss Mills, the sophomore and junior counselor, believes that the incentives for both the school and student is the exchange of cultural knowledge. Um, we have a cultural awareness day. Typically, um, the student approaches us and says, what can I do? I'd like to cook. Um, some of my native foods or just speak to my English class or whoever uh, about my culture. Um, so I believe that the, the, that is the biggest incentive and it replaces a year of their high school studies. Once a foreign exchange student arrives here, they are encouraged to get involved and make friends, as Chio has done. She is a part of the Shri swim team. Now that you know a little more about them, who knows? Maybe the next friend you make is a foreign exchange student. Until next time, Gators, have a great day. Adios, amigos. Hasta la próxima. Wow, I didn't realize how much foreign exchange students do. Me either. They deserve more recognition. Speaking of recognition, we'd like to thank our sponsors. Southern Classic Chicken. The Cantwell Family. Be Safe Driving School. The Feaster Family. And the Bone and Joint Clinic. That's all for today, Gators. I'm Mary Catherine. And I'm Cammie. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching KGTR. KGTR.